Hey Joe, what I wanted to talk to you about today was the breakage and comparing my company to yours. Okay, one thing we know, and first of all, documentation beats conversation, is that the industry standard is 43% of people that are in, enter into a company do not trigger their first bonus. This is called breakage. They are DOA, dead on arrival, okay? We can go in your back office, we can take a look at yours. Pretty much everybody runs the same. Some will be a little higher, some will be a little lower. The next thing we know is that 18% of the time they take their sponsor with them, meaning you get into the organization, you do trigger your bonus. You're one of the 57% that do, okay? So you triggered your bonus. You go out and talk to somebody else, they don't trigger their bonus, they quit, and 18% of the time it takes you down with them. So you now have another 18% of breakage that are DOA also for a total of 61% of people that did not trigger their bonus. If we had 100 reps on our team, basically that means you came out with 39 people. Now this was the one thing whenever they were building Momentus and they were looking at it and they were trying to figure out how do we break the industry standard, and they did. After a year in business, 93% of our reps trigger bonuses, and we have a 7% breakage of DOA. So basically what that means is, is if you come up here, we're gonna have 93 people coming out of our organization and you're gonna have 39. Now the one thing you have to remember is, this formula never goes away. So if you go out and sponsor these 39, go out and sponsor one each, for 39, 61% of them are gonna break, which would be 23. So 23 from 39 would leave you 16 people. So you came out of this with 16 people, okay? 45, same thing applies for us. We're gonna have a 7% breakage, so we're gonna lose six people, okay? So we're gonna have, let me correct this, we're gonna have 87 people come out. We now have 180 compared to 45. If you took each one of these and said each one of them went out and got 10 customers at $2 each, and you followed this breakage all the way down, this one would hit $1 million. That's such a big number, guys, I don't even know if I can write it. When this one was right at $72,000. Now, why do I show you this? So many times we get caught up in the presentations, and you're wanting me to look at your presentation, I'm wanting you to look at my presentation. The presentation's irrelevant. The comp plan is irrelevant. All that matters is what's behind the comp plan. So Joe, what you have to understand is, I'm an average network marketer, I understand that. And as a 10, and between one and 10, you're a 10. So if we were to draw a racetrack right here, I don't even like NASCAR, but if we were to draw a racetrack, and you were to put me right here in a Volkswagen, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put you in number 20 car, 24, pretty boy, Jeff Gordon's car. So you're in the fastest car on the track, and I'm in a Volkswagen. And then right before the race, they decide to switch us, okay? I don't know how to drive. You're an expert driver. You're a 10 at network marketing. Who do you think's gonna win, okay? I am. You can be the best driver in the world, and I can be the worst driver in the world, but if I'm driving a fast car and you're driving a Volkswagen, I'll lap you over and over and over again, and there's not a dang thing you can do about it. So what you have to understand is in this comp plan, a person could be twice as good as somebody in another comp plan, and they still can't beat us because it's not the comp plan, it's what's behind the comp plan. It's the breakage. So the first thing people always ask is, well, how did y'all solve the breakage problem? Glad you asked. Two things we did. First of all, most companies, like our competitors, require you to go outside your comfort zone and get multiple, multiple, multiple customers to trigger your first bonus many times as high as six to seven customers to trigger one bonus. We require you to get one customer to trigger $100. And guys, when you do that, it's game over. Companies live off of breakage. They want breakage. We want to pay people money. Now, traditional companies pay out 63% of revenue bought in. So let's just make up a number. Let's say they charge $300 to come in. They're gonna pay out $200. You're gonna have 
gross profit. Now that's gross, gross, they got bills to pay. That seems fair enough, okay? What we do is we charge $2.99 to get in and we pay out right at $615, okay? And when people first look at that, they say, well, that's impossible. No, it's not, because our competitors are network marketing companies. They rely on this money to stay in business. They rely on the breakage where people signed up to stay in business. We're a $3 billion a year energy company that's using network marketing as a vehicle to gather customers. Prior to Momentus, it cost us right at $200 per customer to go get a customer through door hangers, billboards, Michael Jordan, whatever it was. So actually, we're only at $116, okay? And I know you love my handwriting, Joe, but the bottom line is numbers don't lie, people do. So actually, we're $116 upside down. Now, the next thing you have to understand is prior to Momentus, the customers we gathered through door hangers, billboards were not sticky customers. They had a five to six month life expectancy before they switched to somebody else. What the industry learned was if you gathered a customer through warm market, friends and family, it had a four to four and a half year life expectancy, which would be six times longer. And also you have to remember, so we have a much better customer than we had before. The second thing you have to realize is this is for one customer. I average 6.6 .6 customers per associate, okay? If you go out and you gather 6.6 .6 customers per associate, what you'll find out is the company is making three times as much money as it was prior to launch Momentus. And more importantly is, you're gonna make three times as much money as you would with another company. But the most important thing of all is, if you have 39 people quit, you have to replace 39 just to break even. So no matter what you do, this formula doesn't lie. You know, and just multiply, this is basically after one year. Multiply two years, three years, four years in. It's not about how big your organization is, it's about how many people work within your organization. I appreciate your time. I hope you make a wise decision. Thank you.